Hey guys, Tay here and welcome to another Call of Duty Ghost weapon preview video for you today. This one is the fourth episode and it's come early for you guys, especially who liked the video. Last episode I said if we got 75 likes I'd bring you this episode early and as promised this episode is early and my god, holy crap, you guys went ham on that like button last video. Um, I asked for 75 likes, I thought it'd take a day, maybe two. It took us about two hours, so yeah, he caught me off guard. So hey, thanks for the fantastic support in that previous video. Let's hope we can continue it in this next video. Continue Continuing on with this assault rifle which is called the ARX-160. So this weapon was designed in Italy in 2008 by Beretta as part of the future soldier program that they're running in Italy. It is currently used by four or five different countries including Italy and it was used in the Afghanistan war. The weapon itself is 3 kilograms in weight and is 58 centimeters long. It's a fully automatic weapon with a rate of fire of 700 RPM and the magazine size is 30 rounds. This weapon has medium damage, medium range and low to medium recoil. This weapon does feature some unique features and one of them is that it's actually ambidextrous so you can use it if you're right handed or left handed you can just switch it over because it's got switches, uh, the safety catchers, magazine catchers on both sides of the weapon so you can use it right hand, left hand. Not sure how this is going to work in Call of Duty if they do decide to bring left-handed shooting in it's not really an advantage or anything it just makes everything look a little bit different but I, I don't think it'll bring it in but that's what the weapon supports also the weapon is built with a polymer upper and lower receivers making the rifle pretty damn lightweight so it looks like you might be able to run a little bit quicker with this rifle over some of the other ones in this category. The weapon also supports the whole range of sights, you know, the normal ones that you see on an assault rifle, um, plus the underbarrel grenade launcher as well, and all the usual good stuff. So that is it for the fourth episode of the Weapons Guide. Make sure you tune in for the next one, episode five, coming in the next two or three days. Also make sure you've seen all the previous ones. Thank you very much for watching, guys. Another video is coming right up tonight, and it's um, pretty important about E3 and what we could be seeing for Call of Duty Ghosts. Thank you very much for watching, guys, and I hope you all have a great day.